And here we go. We're on Thrash Zone. Matt Scott literally just walked in <laughs> through the door with a second to spare. Matt, that uh, you made it. God damn it, man. I'll tell you what. I, all I got to say is if, it, if the sunshine comes out and you get too drunk to drive, don't do it. <laughs> get out of my way. Well, it's crazy out there. Portland's having a, a Portland Trailblazers playoff game. We also have uh, the arena football playing right next door at Veterans uh, Memorial. Yes, we it's do. crazy. It's gridlock. But you made it right on time. I did, man. I, I, Matt, I came flying in here, dude. And with the beer, even. <laughs> and, uh, Matt, I want to thank you. Uh, of course, we all missed Matt. He wasn't able to make it last week. But he's here now. Hell yeah. And we got a monster show for everyone tonight. Matt, we have Ronnie Monroe of Metal Church. Rick Sharon of Exciter. We have Doyle from Misfit. Yes. Darren the Impaler from On the Hillity. Can you believe it? Can't beat it, dude. And then to top it all off, Justin Duja of Disaster from San Francisco. <laughs> Hell yeah! Talk about a monster show, people! That's right. I got people listening from Chile, Africa, England, Mexico, people around the world who are heard in 58 countries. Can we beat it tonight? Let's find out. Let's start the thrash. And here we go on Thrash Zone. Yeah. <laughs>
Yes, and that was Tenet with uh, Being and Nothingness. Before that, we kicked it off, Matt, with You Can't Bring Me Down. Hell yeah, man. I love that song. It's an all-time classic. And hey, just a heads up for all you metalheads. In the 7 o'clock hour, we got some good shit coming up. We got some giveaways. You guys are going to be stoked. You're not going to believe it. Keep your ears open, man. We'll be back. That's right. Thrash Zone delivers, and we're going to be giving some stuff away. You don't want to miss it. That's coming up in the 7 o'clock hour, so stay tuned. We're going to continue the madness with some Venom Black Metal. Yeah.
Yeah, and that was some violence right there. What did you think of that, Matt? Oh, yeah, fucking violence. Gotta love those guys, man. Those guys are sick from years back. Years back, Phil Demel, Rob Flynn, oh, Sean oh. Killian, Perry Strickland, Dean Dell, all those guys. They were Rob classic. Flynn, man, I love them. That was Bodies on Bodies. Before that, we had some Venom Black Metal. And as promised, we have live right now. Uh, we got Ronnie from Metal Church. Yeah, we got Ronnie Monroe of Metal Church and also a solo star in his own right. Ronnie, say hello to everybody. Hey, guys. How's it going? All right, Ronnie. So tell us what's going on. We know you got a new album out uh, that's a solo album apart from Metal Church. And we also know that you got a show coming up in Seattle. Uh, I believe it's this weekend. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, man, I've got a new solo record coming out. I believe the pre-order is going to start on Wednesday. It's called Electric Wake. Uh, I've got uh, this time around George Lynch uh, doing a solo on the song. I've got Dave Rude from Tesla, and also uh, Pamela Moore is going to do that with me. Very excited about it. And uh, this time around, I found a great writing partner, Paul Clough. Uh, who actually wrote the majority of the record with me. And, uh, yeah, so that's coming out. Very excited about it. And, uh, looking forward to a lot of cool stuff. And uh, this Saturday night at Studio 7 in Seattle, I'm uh, doing a uh, show with Pamela Moore. And uh, Michael Will, the Queen Drake, is going to come out and kind of do a song with us and uh, help up other acts. And, um, yeah, so there's a lot going on. Yeah, Ronnie, you're tossing around a lot of big names there, man. Uh, George Lynch, um, who else was that that he was jamming with? Dennis, from Tesla. He did a solo on the yeah. song that I did the duet with the Pamela Moore. Oh, yeah, I love Tesla. That's That'd be great. Yeah, Tesla, a great band from Sacramento. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Ronnie, man, so this is great news. Uh, are you just doing this one show in, um, in Seattle, or are you going to be doing a few dates uh, peppered around the Northwest? As of right now, I'm just going to do this one show, and then I'm going to do some dates in September, because, um, you know, Metal Church is active again. The new record came out October 22nd, Generation Nothing, and so we got some shows uh, coming up in Europe, and then we'll have some stuff with Metal Church in September, so once I'm done doing that, that's what I kind of uh, do some of my own stuff around that. So yeah, I'll do probably four or five shows in September. Hey, man, speaking of that new album that you're just talking about, man, I absolutely love that album. You know, I've been a fan of you guys since I, I was a kid. Grew up listening to you guys. Love everything you guys do, man. I had to throw that out there. You guys are a great band. Well, I really appreciate that. I've been with Metal Church now for 10 years, and uh, Kurt Vanderbilt has always been the mainstay, and he's a great artist. He writes great songs, so it's a privilege. Well, I caught you guys the last time you came through here in uh, Portland, Oregon. You guys played at the Roseland Theater. And, and I'll tell you what, man, you know, I, after all the years and everything, you guys are still killing it. Like just, you know, just like, it, you know, just like in the old days, you guys, you guys just uh, never cease to amaze me. man. Generation nothing that's still burning up on the chart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And of course, you know, oh, thanks, man. Yeah. This, band is, uh, this, this lineup is very, very tight. And, uh, you know, we went out just recently and did a whole month in the States, traveling back and forth, and a lot of, a lot of uh, routing disasters and all that. But uh, we, we went out there and we really did a, a good job, and uh, everybody's proud about that. So, uh, yeah, and, that. And, thank you. And Thrash Zone followed you on it, you guys, on Facebook. Of course, you know, you know this, Ronnie, but Steve Unger is a great friend of ours in the show, and uh, he's been on Thrash Zone a few times, Matt. Oh. And, uh, and Ronnie. And, uh, yeah, so we, we keep close ties on you guys. And I'll tell you what, it's an honor to have Ronnie Monroe on the show today, Ronnie. I, I, I thank you so much. Oh, thank you guys. Appreciate it. And, uh, remember to look out for Electric Week. Pre order start on Wednesday. And, uh, get in touch with me through my Facebook and RonnieMonroe.com. Thanks for the time, guys. All right, Ronnie. Any last words? Uh, you know what, just keep getting out there and listening to the music and supporting the bands that you like, you know, because the world needs music. There you go. Absolutely could, couldn't be better said, man. That was Thank perfect. you very much. That's Ronnie Monroe of Metal Church, everyone, and we're going to play a double shot right now. This is Pierced by the Maiden. Woohoo! Oh! 
This is Alice Cooper for R.A.D.D. There's a lot of things we have no control of in this world, but that's not the case with drunk driving. If you're going to drink, don't drive. Think ahead and choose a designated driver. Remember, music lives on and so should you. Yes, we all got a long way to go. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation, RAD, the National Association of Broadcasters, and the Ad Council. Yeah, and that was created with pleasure to kill, Matt. Oh yeah. What do you yeah, think yeah, of that one? Oh yeah. Yeah. Every album from those guys. <laughs> creator, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, before that, we had a public service announcement from Alice Cooper for all you people that uh, drink and drive. Don't yeah. do it. It's not worth it. Uh, before that, we had World of Lies with Your Shit Stinks Too, 
And uh, it all kicked off with Ronnie Monroe. Oh, yeah. Tony Vila, we're Les and Ronnie Monroe. Man, great start to the show. Good, good start. And it's not stopping for a second because, as promised, right now we have live on the phone that Rick Sharon, former drummer of Exciter. And this is a great, great thing for me to have. I personally love Exciter. Say hello to everyone, Rick. Hey, how's it going? All right, man. So tell us what's going on. I know that, you know, uh, Exciter's doing their new lineup, and that's here or there. But we want to talk about what you're doing today. What's going on with your new band? Tell us all about it. Well, I'm practicing with a couple of guys right now. We're rehearsing. We have a few songs on the go. Um, we don't have a name yet. Uh, it's still a little bit hush-hush on what we're actually going to be playing. Uh, my, the members actually, uh, have asked me not to say too much about the, the new project so it can be more of a surprise to everybody when it comes out. So no Thrash uh, Zone exclusive, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. Thanks uh, a lot, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even the members don't really want to be named at this time, as a matter of fact. I thought wow. that kind of funny. But, um, like, the guitarist, he said that's not a problem. Uh, Miles Rourke is the guitarist. Miles Rourke. Uh, okay. He used to be, uh, he was a prospect for uh, Exciter when Brian McPhee left the band back in, uh, after the OTT album. Uh-huh. Um, but our singer, uh, it will be a big surprise when he's being announced. And um, it's... All I can say is everybody that's out there, even old Exciter fans, will be uh, quite amazed and very pleased to see it. Yeah, well, you, of course, Rick, I, you happen to tell me who the singer is, but I, I'll keep it hush. <laughs> 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 My lips are sealed, brother. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, and we can't wait to hear the new uh, the new band with uh, Rick Sharon of Exciter, Matt, because it, it's, you know, the way Exciter ended, and it, it was a shame, right. but, uh, you know, uh, Rick will tell you, man, there was a lot of good times. Uh, you were in the band for 18 years, is that right? Yeah, I was in it for 18 years. It was a, a really great ride. Um, I had a lot of fun in the band. Uh, we played all over the world. It was a great time. I really appreciate what the band has done for me, and I'm glad to have met a lot of people on the road as well. Oh, sure. Well, you know, Exciter, one of those greatest thrash bands of all time. Oh, yeah, in 18 years, nothing but just pure badass. Yeah, and, this, and Rick, you know, um, one, of the, one of the people, the fans out there, they, they wanted me to ask you what kind of equipment that you play with. Uh, myself, I play uh, Pearl drums. Um, I have DW9000 uh, bass drum pedals as well. Very nice. Uh, and TRX cymbals. I also have Sapien cymbals that I use for practice as well, but usually on stage I'm using my TRX cymbals, which are really, really loud uh, and quite bright, so they cut through everything. Um, I, I don't know, what do you want to know about my kit? <laughs> <laughs> well, Matt, you're a drummer. Go right, ahead. right, man. You trigger that thing at all? You just go in all natural with the mics? All natural on the mics. There's no triggers whatsoever. Hey, man, you got to love that. Every now and then I'll tr trigger the bass drums on my own kit. But, yeah, natural's the way to go. That's It's the best sound, best feel the whole bit, you know. The only thing I use on the bass drums are Danmar kick pads and uh, plastic mallets on my bass drum pedals. Oh, nice. So then I get that nice click come out of it. Right, right, the click with, with uh, along with a little bit of a thump. That's right. <clears throat> Yeah, you gotta love that, man. And the Pearl drums. I play Tom on myself, but man, I've always been a big fan of Pearl. That's why I started on. Uh, I, my Pearls are like they're from, I, I got them in 1992 or 93, so like they're the old school style, uh, eight ply maple shells, uh, wow. with stainless steel covering all around it, uh, 24 inch bass drums. I'd say that uh, that's just as beautiful as Peter Chris in his Pearl kit. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're quite. <laughs> Big cannons, actually. Uh, I, I like them a lot. They're, they have a nice old school sound as well. They're, they're, they don't have as much ring as the new drums nowadays, so they're a little bit uh, finicky in the studio, but uh, they cut through and are, have an amazing sound live. What kind of skins are you putting on that thing? Uh, I have a tendency of experimenting with skins. Right now I have uh, ebony, uh, the Evans ebony style skins nice. on it. Nice. Um, before I've used uh, Remo uh, Black Dots, 
uh, rainbow power uh, power strokes. Very nice. The power strokes are what I really like on the bass drums because they really kick that way. I've tried the Aquarian heads, but for some reason, I go through bass drum heads with those. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> I have to agree with you, man. I, I just went through a set of Aquarians just to kind of step out of the norm. The norm for me are the Evans. The Evans but uh, I, I tell you, man, uh, the, the Evans seems to be the way to go, man. Uh, the great sound and great endurance, the whole bit on those things. But they seem to last the longest as well without having to change them as often because they, they don't lose their tone as fast. Nice. nice. All right. Rick, is there any last words you want to say to your fans out there, be it Exciter or the new band that you have going right now? Well, all I can say is the new band, once it comes out, uh, everybody's going to be very surprised, and I hope uh, everybody likes it. Uh, it's kind of a different direction from Exciter. It's heavy, uh, but it also has a European style as well to it, so it's still trash, but has more melody than an exciter has. More melody? Uh, What's that a boot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing with you, Rick. <laughs> you uh, Canadians with no, your loonies and your toonies. <laughs> in your face band, and uh, I think we're going to want to try something a little different because right now with this band here, I have a lot more room to play with uh, stuff on the drums. Um, so I'm being more intricate on it. So I think the fans will be uh, quite quite surprised at what I can actually play. That's beautiful. You know, Rick, Rick Sharon, I'm one of your biggest fans, one of your biggest supporters. I can't wait to hear the new material. Matt, oh, it's yeah. going to be great. We don't have a name on them yet, but for no, right now... It was supposed to be possibly brutal warning, but then we thought about it and we're like, no, you know what? Uh, that's too close to... Uh, exciter, yeah. Too close to uh, Exciter Hulk, you know what I mean? So, right. Um, so we give us... try something completely different on the name. And like I said, uh, Miles is a great guitarist. He's an amazing songwriter. Uh, we're, we're doing really well with the collaboration on uh, writing the tunes. And our singer that we have, uh, he's taking a little break right now because he's uh, learning the songs more and in the melodies. And uh, he doesn't want to be named at this time, which I completely respect. And he, basically what we all talked about was as soon as we want to get this album out and record the stuff and then come out as, uh, to the world with a big bang. That is what beautiful. Rick, and we can't wait for that to happen. I got to keep the show moving, my friend. I will talk to you on uh, on chat later. We thank you very much. That's Rick Sharon of Exciter, Matt. That's fucking badass, brother. And we're going to do it. a double shot right now with Immortal Fear followed with Rule with an Iron Fist. This is Matt Rick Sharon on the drums.
Okay. This is Tim. Alex. Toilet paper. This is American Roulette, and he fucked it up. <laughs> okay, do it again. Sorry, I had, I had to lose. Your name's Chris. Not toilet paper. I uh, asked why it went to the I'm the man fucking, uh, you know, the, the anthrax fucking, I'm the man, I'm so stupid. I'm the man, I'm... Uh, okay, All right. I'm just fucking God with you. damn All right. it. All right. I'll get it right. I'm just kidding. All right. Be quiet. This is Tim, Alex, Chris. This is American, American Roulette. Roulette. You're, You're listening, listening again, to Coop again, Radio. These guys need no, to sync up Frash better. <laughs> oh, fuck. Thrash Zone. So, so Thrash Zone, my bad. Alex, Chris, one. You're... Lo- uh, no, no, no. It's just you guys. Hold on. Let's rehear. Re- re- one Tim, second. Tim, Alex, man. Chris, you're listening to the Thrash Zone. Of America. Tim, no, of America Alex, Roulette. Chris, we're you're listening to... No. no. Tim, we're listening. Alex, Chris, we're, we're American, American Let me just say it so we don't have to compete with the fucking stuff. No. Okay. No, I know. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Yeah, so we'll I don't need an ego stroke, but right. Tim, Alex, I'll finish be, it off. This and then is we. Tim, Alex, Chris... We're American Roulette. Then let Tim go where you're listening to Thrash, you go zone. No, we'll, we'll do that part together. And Wayne's like, oh so my be, God, you guys are going to just... Two seconds. Hey, check. Uh, no. Hey, we're a we would We would have had it the first band, time, <laughs> except for somebody who's named right. Toilet right. Paper. So it's going to be... It's, it's gonna be too much time this is it. Tim, on. Alex, One, Chris, two. we're American Roulette, this is Thrash. Dude, God yeah. damn it. Yep, yep, go. Okay. This is Tim, Alex, Chris, we're American, American Roulette, Roulette, and you're listening to Thrash Zone. Nice. I told you we're pros. Come oh, on, Wayne. You had to argue. That's all that's I owe you guys. <laughs> we didn't even do what we were saying. Uh, I know. This guy's in the
Yeah, and that was American Roulette with Just Die. Oh yeah, Aspie, Mr. Chris Aspie, fuck yeah. <laughs> no doubt. All right, who we got going, Billy? All right, we have right now, as promised, Doyle from formerly of the Misfits yeah, yeah. and Gorgeous Frankenstein, but Doyle, you guys changed your name from Gorgeous Frankenstein to just Doyle. How come? Uh, I'm on the Miss idea. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. We did it. <laughs> you just went ahead and did it, huh? <laughs> seemed like to the point. Man. Hey, it seemed like a good idea. <laughs> well, you know, I, Doyle, I actually ran into you. I used to work at the Warfield in San Francisco, and uh, yeah. I ran, yeah, I ran into you in uh, Gargyle uh, Gooseby. Was it Argyle Gooseby? Right. Yeah, it was back in uh, 2007, and we took a couple of pictures. I posted them on Facebook. But I, you know, I always, I've always been a good, a big fan of your guitar playing. I, I think uh, you going solo like this and just calling the band Doyle, it seems fitting, man. It's about time. Right. Okay. So tell us a little bit about about what uh, your new album's all about. Uh, about killing people and stuff. <laughs> Just that, that's well, it. <laughs> well, we all want to do that once in a while. Yeah. So, who do you have in the band now? What? Who do you have in the band now? Um, Dr. Chuck, the vulnerable Dr. Chuck, um, and Alex right now. Cool. Alex Story from Cancer Son. Badass. Right. Nice. Nice. Badass. And you guys are, are you touring right now, or what are you guys doing? We got a tour booked uh, July 8th or 18th in, in the UK, I think, or just a little tour Europe, I don't know. And then we got one uh, August 15th or the 15th of September in the United States. Um, and I'm doing a show in Danzig uh, in Canada, Rockfest, on the 21st of June, I believe. Uh -huh. And I got a couple of... Uh, so it sounds like oh, you just. Signing, I forgot the date. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> Doyle, it sounds like you just got select dates and you're playing uh, festivals, what have you, which is cool, man. So I, that's good that you're at the point where you can pick and choose what you want, you know. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> right. I got every band's dream. <laughs> Ma management has something else to say about right. that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Doyle, so is there anything you want to tell your fans? Because I'll tell you right now, we got fans. Uh, uh, I'll tell you right now, um, the uh, Felipe Carrasco, he runs your official Doyle page over in Chile. He's listening tonight. Hi. Yeah, he wanted to. He wanted to say hi and make sure that you knew that he was listening tonight. Cool. Do you want me to come to Chile by any chance? <laughs> I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does too, man. He runs your page, man. So uh, yeah, we got. What's that? Did he tell you he wanted me to come to Chile? No, he wanted me to tell you hello, and he wanted to make sure that you knew he was listening right now. Cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, is that is that, what's the what's the name of your new album now? Tell me, it's, it's called a beer album. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing Abominator. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Mad, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. And we're going to play Abominator right now. Uh, any last words, Doyle? <laughs> well, we just, yeah, we only have about 10 minutes because we got five guests tonight. It's kind of jam packed. Okay, uh, yeah, don't feel music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, that is Doyle. We thank you very much for your time, Doyle. You have a good night, brother. Okay, take care. All right.
Dory. You're listening to the Crash Zone. Freaking guys are horrible. On three. Yeah, okay, on on three, fellas. Crash Zone with Billy Ball. Let's just count it in. Give us a count in, will you? Hey, this it's is by the majority. And you're listening to the Thrash Zone. Still here. That's hard. This and is. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. You always do a four count. Not a five count. Yeah, that's a bunch of shit. He did the other four camera bullshit. Let's go. Three, two, one. Where's four? <laughs> four. Four. four doesn't exist. Ready? One, two, three, one. This hey, is by the majority. majority. You're listening to Crash Zone with Philly Bolt. How about we have each of you do it? There you go. And take the best one. <laughs> do your name, this is Thrash Zone. This is Chris Baker from Violent Majority, and you are listening to Thrash Zone with Billy Bolt. This is Darren Calderwood, and you listen to the Thrash Zone with Billy Bolt. This is Steve from Violent Majority, you listen to the Thrash Zone with Billy Bolt. This is Dave from Violent Majority, you listen to the Thrash Zone with Billy Bolt. Yeah, let's get some anger into it. You're violent, man. We're really tired of going home. Come on. I think I'm, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> come on, one more time. Hi, this sucks. <laughs> come on, I'm really tired. I'm going to go home. We're violent, but you're right. listening we're to really Bad Bow with Billy Boy. <laughs> Dude, you're going to have to do that
Oh my God, Matt. That was uh, Violent Majority with Ritual of Broken Flesh. Those are my bros from Vancouver, Washington, Chris Baker and company. Yeah, I got to tell you, man, this, this show so far has just been absolutely amazing. All the people, everything about this show has just been amazing tonight. Everybody. Everyone tonight has been just on oh, on top of it, man. I and and uh, I want to thank each and every one of you listening tonight on Digital Revolution Radio. Uh, thank you, uh, Lady Sandra, who... Uh, owns uh, the company and also uh, totally supports everything that Thrash Zone does. If it wasn't for Lady Sandra, there would be no Thrash Zone right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. i got to throw out a thanks to her as well for welcoming me into into the uh, Thrash Zone family. Yes. She's just amazing. Uh, Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Kimberly. This is fucking awesome. All right. Well, you know, we've got... Yeah, we have a few minutes here, Matt. We might as well, uh, you know, talk about some of our friends because Thrash Zone isn't just a one, two man, three man show. Thrash Zone is a family. Yes. And uh, there's a lot of people that that contribute. And tonight, I want to thank myself. I'll run down a few names and I'll let you get on, get onto your list. But I want to thank Tina Thompson Webb and Gary R- Rutan of Something Metal. They put out the word to a lot of people tonight. Um, I think they're they're at OTEP tonight, and oh, yeah. uh, but they will be yeah they're up in Tacoma, but they will be listening to the show when they get home. But they something metal. If you need something done uh, promotion wise for your band, contact something metal out of uh, Tacoma, Kent, Washington, somewhere around there, and mm-hmm. uh, they will hook you up. They will get the word out on your band. Um, I also want to thank uh, Craig Gilbert uh, and also Kimberly Bolt for setting up. All the interviews tonight, and that's with Ronnie Monroe, with Rick Sharon of Exciter, with Doyle, uh, you know, and and, uh, and uh, Justin Dudra and, and Dan the Impaler from On the Hillity. Kimberly Bolt did nine three quarters of that. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, she's, she, she's just a machine. Yeah, she is. I, I couldn't do it without her, and, and I, I love Kim very much, and I, I thank everything that she does for all her hard work. I also wanted to thank uh, Felipe Carrasco. Uh, he runs the official Doyle page over in the country of Chile, um, and also our listeners or fans over in Chile from the band Nimrod and Alfredo Zapeta Campos who does the Faces of Metal. It airs live on Saturday from 4 to 7 Pacific Standard Time on uh, radio. You know, I'm just going to spell this. R-A-D-I-O-G-R-A-F-I-A-T-J dot com. It's a little, my Spanish is a little rusty there, Matt. No worries. All right. And what did you have? Man, I just want to thank all my brothers and sisters out there in the NYDM that are listening, everybody that uh, supports us, and uh, my band, my bandmates of God Denied, uh, the people that support us, and the ones that don't. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> don't be haters. <laughs> just buy a ticket. You can yeah. love them or hate them. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, just so everybody knows, a little God Denied update. Uh, we did, uh, did some tracks last Saturday. This next weekend, we'll be working on the drum tracks. The new Deception album is going to be coming soon. It's going to be sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, hey, just a little uh, little surprise for everybody here. we got a concert calendar update. <laughs> Our first one. We've got some tickets that we're going to give out. we got a bunch of tickets we're going to give out coming up. But we're Testify, gonna do, Matt. Testify. Yeah, we're going to do one at a time, one at a time. If you are going to be in the Portland area Thursday, June 5th, I have a pair of tickets right now up for grabs for Primer 55. Yes. We also have Ditch Digger, Althris, American Roulette, and Saboteur. That is a killer show, Matt. Right. I might even want to snake those from you. Oh, hell, man. How do I win? win? <laughs> you got you to call in, but, man, that's cheating. <laughs> All right. So here's what you do, guys. You call the number 971-302-8543. Four, three, and Matt, what do they need to do? They need to tell us, where did Mr. Ronnie Monroe of Metal Church tell us, a little bit earlier in the show, where is he playing this weekend? If you can answer that in the next six minutes and 66 seconds, I've got yes. a pair of tickets for you. But what, once again, keep in mind, it's Thursday, June 5th at the Tonic Lounge. That's on Sandy Boulevard here in Portland, Oregon. If you can make it, you can answer that question, where is Metal Church playing this next weekend? The tickets will be yours. Once again, that is 
302-8543. Call right now. The first caller that can answer that question will win tickets to Primer 55, Ditch Digger, Otheris, American Roulette. That is an unbelievable lineup, Matt. Oh, yeah. Uh, Don't forget Saboteur. Oh, Saboteur. Excuse yeah. me. All right. 971-302-8543. We are going to play some music right now, unless you had some more words. Nope, nope. Love you all, man. Thanks for listening. All right. We'll be back right now. We have some environment with Stephen Morris and Inner Terrorism.
Whoa, and that is fucking super joint ritual, Matt. That was uh, everyone hates everyone. You know, and I think we do. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, man. Uh, before that was Simon Says Die, a band out of Vancouver, Washington with Night Falls. And then before that, we had Warp Vomit, a band from Seattle. I love those guys, man. Warp Vomit. That was Splintered Crucifix. And uh, then we had another local band from Portland, and that was Betrayed by Weakness with their newest song, Institution. Hell yeah, Rick. Hell's in. That's it. But now we're getting down to death metal, and this is where it turns hardcore. Matt, we have on the phone, as promised, Dan the Impaler, guitarist of On the Hillity. Dan, say hello. How's it going, guys? It's going good, man. It's going good. Hey, dude, this is Matt, drummer God tonight. Man, last time I seen you guys... I think, I can't remember the exact date, but we played a show with you guys at Slabtown. And man, that, that show was, uh, it, it, it was us, you guys, and uh, a biasist. Do you remember that show? Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. that yeah. show was yeah. fucking sick, man. That show was fun, man. We had Jake Madison of a biasist on the show last week with uh, Patrick Donovan, a toy called God. And uh, April Jones, the director of uh, uh, the Rockumentary for the Mentors and also creator of Slade in Oregon. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hey man, Dan, what's going on with Omnihility, man? Uh, well, we are getting ready to release our new album here pretty soon. It's called Deathscapes of the Subconscious. It'll be on Unique Clear Records on July 22nd. July 22nd, dude. That's like perfect time for a release, right in the middle of summer. Yeah. 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 Hey, how many, tra how, many, how, many, how many tracks you guys got on that, that new one? Oh, dude, that's that, that's badass. Not too many bands do that anymore. It's good to hear you guys are doing that. Yeah, it's always been a big influence of mine. I draw a lot of inspiration from classical music and whatnot. So. Right. Now, Dan, uh, your band, your guys are located out of Eugene, is that right? Yes. Eugene, yes, Oregon. Too. Yeah, and also uh, home of Necryptic. Necryptic. These guys must do a lot oh, yeah. of shows together, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're good brothers of ours. I'm sure. That would be a killer lineup to see right there, Matt. Oh, yeah. The Cryptic's coming around soon. Hey, uh, Dan, what, what do you guys got coming up for shows, man? You guys coming up to Portland anytime soon? Uh, I believe we will be doing some Portland dates sometime after our release. Uh, we have the Las Vegas Death Fest happening uh, on June 12th, I believe. And uh, we're planning a unique leader showcase for Daniel. Showcase down in L.A., uh, and basically, we're going to try to play a show here next month. We have a new bass player, and we want to break in live before uh, we go play these festivals and whatnot. So, so it's definitely going to be a hot summer for you guys. <laughs> 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 That's some killer shows, man. Las Vegas Metal Fest. Matt, you should get in on that. Oh, yeah. Matt, we're so booked up. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> what else does On the Hill do you have in store? Well, basically, we're uh, just waiting for their release to come out and hope to tour as much as possible and play as many shows and raise with everybody all summer and all year. Do you guys have a, do you have a, a YouTube channel that your uh, fans can subscribe to? Yes, I, I believe there is a YouTube channel. Uh, uh, just look for On The Hillity, or is there more to it? Yeah, I, I think it's just random stuff that's been posted, so just any YouTube on my Hillity, you'll, you'll, you'll pull something up. Got it. All right. Very cool, man. I Yeah, I, I've, I've looked it up, man. I, I, I love all your guys' shit, man. You guys are fucking brutal. Oh, thanks a lot, man. Right yeah. yeah. So, hey, uh, Dan, well, what do you play through? I'm playing through uh, Rivera right now, and I use a black card guitarist. Nice. Nice. And, yeah, it's a pretty sweet setup. It's good for low tunings, and you'll pick up more clarity, especially tying down a drop A. You know, you kind of need that need that clarity there. Right, especially for being so low, you know, with that, that real crunch at that, that, down to A, man. You, you guys are, are real low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At least, a, uh, what is it, a step and, and a half? And two, yeah, some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> Down two steps? <laughs> <laughs> All right, on. Dan, you guys are absolutely killer. I think it's time to place some on the hillity to the masses. What do you guys think? 
Oh yeah. Right off, all right, Dan, we're going to do a hang, hang, on the, hang on the line for a minute, all right? Yeah, we're going to do a double shot, Dan, of uh, Fate Beyond and Unsummoned by On the Hillity. Don't go nowhere, Dan, because Matt wants to talk to you. And for everyone else, thrash just some of this.
Hi, this is Ozzy Osbourne. For many years, you know, I've had a drink problem and I'm, I'm trying to battle that problem every single day. But one thing I don't do, I don't drive my car when I'm drinking. I get someone to drive me. Do not drink and drive. It's the stupidest thing. If you drink, just don't drive. Not only are you going to hurt yourself, you may hurt some other person and you wouldn't want that on your conscience, would you? A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation, RAD, the National Association of Broadcasters and the Ad Council.
Wow, Matt, that was fucking Beneath the Remains with Sepultura. What did you think of that one, dude? That entire album, note for note, all four of them boys from Brazil just nailed that. Way beyond their time on that one. I can't What year did that come out? Do you remember? It was like 96, 98. Oh, I, man. I mean, it was just classic, bro. And yeah. I could even be wrong on that. It, it might be younger, but, you know, older than that, rather. It's hard to say, but all, all I know is every single track on Beneath Remains is just absolutely timeless. Any death head out there, that they, they know that album. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, one of the greatest guitar uh, players, songwriters ever, Max Cavalera and Andreas Kisser, you know, I, I rank them right up there uh, with Gary Holt of Exodus, uh, just for all-time riffs, man. Absolutely. And, and Eagle Cavalera is a drummer myself. I got I to gotta give it out to that guy. He is a phenomenal drummer. Say Apollo. Hey, all four of them, man. All of them. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Before that, we had a little Ozzy Osbourne public service announcement. I guess he had to pay a fine, Matt. And uh, yeah, <laughs> drinking and driving. Don't that's do it. it. And uh, then we had a double shot of on the hillity, and that was an interesting uh, interview with Dan the Impaler. And those guys, those guys are amazing. You know, any of you out there listening, you ever get a chance to to meet these guys, go see these guys, anything that you can. On the hillity is a shit, man. They're they're, they're all great dudes and, and just brutal death metal. Absolutely. All right, so here's what we got going on. We got a couple of tickets still available for Primer 55 because no one had the correct answer yet, Matt. Really? What the hell, people? I don't know. People called, but they just didn't get it right. So we're going to do it one more time. We're, we're, we're going to go the dumb, easy way. <laughs> yeah. I'll even give you a hint on the question. All right. The question originally was, where is Ronnie Monroe of Metal Church playing next week? If you could tell us the, the arena where he's playing at, and oh, I'm going to even give you another hint. It's in Seattle, so that will narrow it down. Um, and you call 971-302-8543. You will win. Matt, Primer 55. I got a pair of Primer 55 tickets here in Portland, Oregon at the Tonic Lounge, and that is Thursday, June 5th. All you got to do is call in right now. You got a pair of tickets. Once again, that's Primer 55, Ditch Digger, Ulthris, American Roulette, and Saboteur. Man, kick ass show. Oh, my God. that That's like, I, I mean, that's a show that I'm definitely going to go to regardless. Oh, I'll be there. Whether I win or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you'll be there. Yeah, well, maybe I can call in on this. Hey, there you go. We can win your own tickets. All right, so we're going to continue the thrash. We're going to, uh, coming up though, we do have Justin Dudra, drummer of Disaster, a band out of San Francisco. Matt, these guys, they remind me of old school DRI. They kick ass. Can you ask for any better of a show, man? This is just adrenaline on fucking all time. Oh, show. yeah. I don't know about you, but I am not going to let it, I'm not coming down now. No way. <laughs> We're picking it up. We're keeping it going. This is the Drip with Grind Campaign.
Oh yeah, and that was proven, Matt, with uh, the definition. Before that, we had some Hatriot, Steve Souza's uh, new band. Well, not new, but his yeah. latest band with Consolation for the Insane. They Coming fucking up, rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Steve Souza, man. Good friend of the show. Uh, before that, we had Slayer, Guilty of Being White. God, do I know how that is. Ah. And also, we had The Drip with Grind Campaign. And as promised, once again for the fifth time tonight, we have a superstar on the phone. This is Justin Dudra. He is the drummer for a band out of San Francisco called Disaster. Justin, say hello. Hey, guys. Good to be with you. Right on, Justin. <laughs> Tell us what's up with Disaster, because it's been a while since we talked. Yeah. Uh, well, we're still working on some new material, and uh, a couple of the older ones, since I, I just joined the band in January, so what we're doing now is we're going to put an EP up, which will have probably two to three brand new ones nobody's heard, and then we're going to take a couple of the older ones that really haven't been put out there, re-record them, and I'll put that out as an EP here, hopefully before summer. Sweet, man. All right, and that's going to be a, a new, a new crisper version of the songs that you uh, had recorded earlier. Is that correct? Because I know you had the uh, the demo or the uh, the EP that, uh, from before. Yeah, there, there, anything that's out now, um, it's pretty much it was done with the previous drummer, and they recorded in other places. Um, right. I have all my own recording equipment, so we're all doing that in, in my studio. Yeah, and now we got Justin Judger on the drums, Matt, and he he just tightens, sweetens the pie oh, yeah. not much more for disaster. I know. So uh, yeah, I, I can't I can't wait to hear hear your guys' new stuff, man. That's, that's going to be sick. Yeah. Cool. Oh, thanks. So Justin, uh, what what gigs do you have coming up there in the Bay Area? Uh, right now we're pretty. We just have things that are just pending for um, maybe San Jose at the beginning of June. Uh, you know, like I said, we're really, we've been really just focusing on getting recordings done. Well, sure, uh, you know, you got, got some stuff coming up in June and July. Uh, so it's all pending right now. You should, you know, best way to find out when we're playing is check out our Facebook. Absolutely, yeah, and certainly you, you need to keep uh, the writing process going. That's for damn sure. Right. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Hey, you know, but even taking a little time off in the summer once in a while when you've been going, it, 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 that's not a bad idea either. Take a, take a breather, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, mean, well, I, I think everybody needs to kind of, like, take a break once in a while. Especially, I think especially in the Bay Area where, I mean, you, you, can't, when, when, you can't really get out of the area without having to travel, like, an hour one to six hours just to get out of this area because the state is so big and everything's spread out. Right. You really need to take a break once in a while because people kind of get tired of you when you're hitting like Oakland, San Francisco, San Jose, and Sacramento all in like four months. You know? <laughs> all the time. <laughs> round and round and round you go, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, well, you know what? Hey, we got a, a really big thrash scene that's just been blowing up here in Portland, Oregon, uh, Justin. And, you know, uh, oh, you yeah. can ask Billy Garut of Cultural Warfare. And we've been trying to get them up here for a long time. Uh, Gary Went from The Ghost Next Door, him as well. You guys should all get together and, and you know, put your funds together and do, do some gigs out here. Because I'll tell you right now, you will put uh, asses in chairs up here, man. There is a big thrash scene, and they need some of that Bay Area metal. Yeah, you know what? I, I would love to do something like that. I will definitely, now that you mention it, um, I will start kind of like talking with a few people this week and I'll see if I can get something going for some of that. Hey, man, I'll tell you what, if, if you want to come up this way, man, I, I play drums for a band called God Denied and I, I got some great connections, some great shows coming up. If you guys want to come this way, Look me up, man, and and, uh, and and I'll tell you what, man. We can hook up some great shows up here, man. You guys won't regret it. Cool. Yeah, that maybe, is. Um, maybe we have Billy send me uh, a link to your page on Facebook if you can. You got it. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Cool, thank you. I will do it tonight, Justin. My word. Awesome. Sounds good. Yeah, All right, man. You, you listeners heard uh, that. You, you just played uh, Atria, right? Uh, yeah, we played. Uh, no, we played Proven. It was the definition. Oh, okay. Before cool. that was Hatred. Yeah, I was just out in, in Denver and Dublin drinking with a friend Friday night, and I ran into a couple of the guys from Atria. Oh, yeah? Um, Who'd you run into? I mean, 
Yeah, actually, I we we have talked to Steve recently, and he he's mentioned that on the show. Um, the guy you're talking about, uh, Justin, he's a new guitar player out of Dublin, I believe. I uh, grew up with the kids, and uh, also um, the bass player is Cody Souza, uh, Steve's son. Cody, okay. Yeah, and and his other son Nick Souza is on the drums. Okay, yeah, I've seen them. I saw actually saw them. Uh, oh, gee, it's been all this. Uh, it's I Oh yeah, well we've had Steve Sue's on the show a couple of times. Yeah, um, he's definitely everyone that knows this show knows that he's like my most favorite all time god uh, for vocalist. Oh, and, and, and nice guy, just a very <laughs> yeah. Good. I, I just I just love Steve Sue's vocals, man. Him and Ozzy Osbourne are the reason why I sing. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> now, Matt. Now, you're you're a drummer, as is Justin. Do you guys have any uh, drum related questions you want to talk about? I don't know, man. What kind what kind of kit you playing on these days? Uh, well, I still have a Tama Art starter that I, I usually keep it boxed up. Um, I had it for oh god, fifteen. It's for like eighteen years now. It's a nineteen eighty three Cordia uh, Tama set. That's kind of like a hard to find one. I've, I've always held on to that. It's an awesome studio kit. Um, and then my live kit is a uh, PDP uh, Platinum Series, um, which I got off a friend of mine who had a DW endorsement. And so it was like barely used. They got a cool deal on it. And the, the toms sound like cannons. They're just, you turn them right and get the right heads on there, they're just awesome. You know what? I like your style, man. Uh, you know, I, I'm a fan of, I, I play a Tama Rockstar myself, but the PDPs have really been opening my eyes lately. I really love the, like you said, the cannons. And, and the one thing that I've also noticed, not only on the toms, the bass drums, they, they sound just great, man. Yeah. Um, I would actually, you know, it depends on what you want. Get the I use 22 inch kick drums. Right. But if you go up to a 24, and you get a, you know, you need a big, kind of a bigger hole in, on the front head to let that air out of there. But you can have some huge sound with some, like, 24 by 18 kick drums. Right, absolutely. You know? I'm a fan of the 22 inch bass drums myself, but yeah, I hear you on the on the 24s. You know the 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 PDPs uh, live, like you said, they're they're just absolutely cannons. I mean, just micing them up. Uh, they they work great yeah. with the sound guy and, and and just all around, you know. Exactly. Um, also, um, I have a, I have a drumstick endorsement by XL Drumsticks. They're awesome drumsticks. I mean, I. I you know, went with these guys. I was using Vaders for the past probably eight years, um, and then those have been great. But then I, you know, I had the opportunity to get this endorsement and all that with my name on the stick, exactly what I wanted, and this stick really holds up. Nice. It, the, you know, the XL, huh? Better than the Vader drumsticks. Oh, Vader drumsticks. I'm going to look into that. Yeah, I was using uh, Extreme Design 5V. Extreme Design 5A. So you and I are pretty close. I still use the Vic Firth 5As, you know, the American Classics. But uh, I, I, okay. I'd like to check that out just to, just to see what's going on with that. Nice. Cool. Yeah, you have to check that out. Right yeah. on. Justin, I we need to we need to cut this off now. Uh, we got. Oh. Yeah, we're almost out of time uh, for Man, the rest it's of the night. been great talking to you. Yeah, but we, we <laughs> definitely got to have it. Well, you know, Justin's going to be around. Um, you know, Justin, uh, I was just telling Matt here how uh, before Coove, uh, radio, our last station that we were on went dark, um, that we were going to have Paul Bustaff on the show, but, you know, we, we the show had to be cut off. I'm still working on that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, you know, hey, so, well, I just want to get a hold of him, especially when he's about to go out on tour again with Slayer. Yeah. It makes it super difficult to get a hold of him. Yeah, well, I understand that. I understand. I mean, <laughs> look, you know, if people said that I couldn't get to anyone from the Big Four, and I keep joking with Matt about this. I turned around, and who did I get, Matt? Oh, David, David Ellison, Ellison from oh, Megadeth. Yeah. First time I, mean, I was on here, that was yeah. badass. Do not challenge me. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, uh, guess, uh, hey, guess who else we're having on the show? I guess maybe our listeners should, uh, should listen to this too. We have, we are working with right now, Zach Wild. To get him on the show, all we need to do is solidify a date. 
and I guarantee you, he will be on Thrash Zone. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yes. And uh, Kimberly, she set up another one. Who was it, Kim? Oh, she's out. She's out like a light. <laughs> but we got we got some big ones coming up, folks. You do not want to miss Billy each and every week of Thrash Zone. What's that? Billy Sheehan. Billy Sheehan. That's who's up. Billy oh, Sheehan God. on the bass, one of the greatest bass players of all time. So we got some big players coming up on Thrash Zone as we do every week. I want to thank Kimberly Bolt, my assistant booking. Uh, for Thrash Zone. She does a wonderful job. Justin, I want to thank you for joining us tonight. We're going to play a double shot right now, a disaster. Uh, we're going to play um, I Hate You Forever and Vile Demonry. How does that sound? Thanks, Billy. It's fucking awesome. All right, Justin. Take care, man. How are you doing?
Oh yeah, and that was mechanism with this machine, Matt. Fuck yeah, man. I was. I remember uh, talking with those guys just uh, last week. We're talking about bringing those guys to Portland here soon. Excellent. With my band, God Denied. I'll tell you what. Oh if we God. can get that going on. Mechanism got denied, and we'll see. <laughs> TBA, uh, don't have everything worked Ooh. out yet, but if that happens, oh, man. that would be smoking hot. Yes. Smoking hot. Yeah. yeah, before that, we had Toy Called God, Matt. They were our guest uh, last week, Patrick Donovan, our biggest thrash zone uh, to date. That was heard in 58 countries. Can tonight beat it? We're going to find out here soon, man, but I'll tell you what, no matter what, 58 countries. That is sick, you metalheads rule. Hell yeah, thank you for our fans all over the world. Chile, Mexico, England, Africa, uh, Thailand, even in the Middle East, because you know we have soldiers that, that listen to us on army bases around the world. Yes. It, I mean, and we thank you for your service, each and every one of you. Every one of you. Yeah. Matt, I'm just going to say a few words. I'm going to hand it over to you, and uh, then we have some tickets to give away. Um, I just want to say, everyone, next week we have on Thrash Zone... Dave Starr, he is the guitarist for uh, Wild Star, previously of Vicious Rumors. Uh, his wife, London, is the singer for Wild Star, and they are a killer band, Matt. Uh, we also have, I think people are going to be very, very surprised with Wild Star. And uh, we also have David Ford of Rip Chain, a band out of Boise, Idaho. We have a Coic, and we have, Matt, also a what? Oh, yeah, we got special guests. Maybe a surprise special guest. Yep, we're going to find out. I'm going to secure that in the next couple days. But I'll tell you what, uh, you guys are not going to be disappointed. And, and and like he said, also a Echoic. Those are brothers of mine from here in Portland. These guys are sick. Uh, they're new. Well, not necessarily new, but they're up and coming. These guys are awesome. You're going to love them. All right, Matt, we got five minutes and we got to hey, go. So. Tales to my brothers and sisters out there in the NYDM. I love you all. All right, this is Billy Bolt. For Matt Scott, you're listening to Thrash Zone. This is Reign of Terror by Testament. And if we don't have any more time after this, I want to wish all of you a good night. And we'll see you again next week yeah. on DigitalRevolutionRadio.com. See ya.
Wow, what a night, what a night. Well, I want to thank, uh, this is Billy Bull, I want to thank Ronnie Monroe of Metal Church, Rick Sharon of Exciter, Doyle 